I've been using this feature a lot lately and didn't really want to cover it just because I am late to the party, however, I am still seeing videos emerging on Pika Labs and other AI tools which I covered months ago. So, why not? Is this new? No. Is this cool? You bet. I've been stuck generating tons of optical illusions for the past three weeks now and I can never get bored of them. So let's get straight to it. First you'll need stable diffusion. I'll be using automatic 1111 and you will need control net with a custom control net model called QR Code Monster. If you don't have stable diffusion don't worry, it's really easy to install. Simply pause this video and watch this video here, where I show you how to install a program that allows one click installs for many AI programs such as stable diffusion. However if you already have stable diffusion and control net all you'll need is the QR Code monster yaml and safe sensors files which you can download in the description below after you download those control net files launch stable diffusion and you'll be ready to go hey real quick it takes me a lot of time and energy to make these videos so please hit that like button and subscribe so i can continue to make content for you 97 percent of you watch my channel but aren't subscribed so hit that subscribe button for more ai related content okay back to the video so the first thing that we need to do is get our black and white image our line art that is the image we'll be using as our optical illusion. I'll use 512 by 512 to save some time with image generation. I'll set my CFG scale to 5. For the model I'll be using Epic Realism. And the negative prompt just be using the Epic Negative. For our positive prompt I'll do something simple like Illustration of a skull, black and white, line art. And let's generate. So it looks like there is a little bit too much detail in this image. We want the image more simplified. So what I'll do is I'll put low detail, clip art. Let's see what that does. Alright, that's a little better. I think we can kind of work with that. I want to emphasize line art. So what I'll do is I'll add three. Open and close brackets over line art. Okay, that's looking a little better. We still got some shading in there. That I don't want. So I'll put low detail. See how that works. Okay, um, I guess we can use this. Now that we have our line art image that we will use for our optical illusion. Head over to the control net tab and drag and drop the line art image that we just generated over to the control net window. Click enable. Click pixel perfect. For our model, we will select our QR code monster. For our control weight, I like to start off at around 1.3. Double check your settings, make sure control net is enabled. Now let's change our prompt. I'll use the prompt photo of a cyborg. Image is a little strong and because we are using a skull it will kind of match the cyborg face, but we want an optical illusion effect. So let's change the prompt to something like photo of an urban city and see what we get. Okay, I'm not really feeling this. However, it does take some trial and error and of course while I am recording it's going to throw out the most absurd images. So I continued to mess with some settings and styles and wasn't getting the images I was looking for. So what I'm going to do is disable the control net and attempt to get a more simplified line art output from stable diffusion. So here we go at another go of getting a more simplified line art from stable diffusion. It seems no matter how I was prompting it wouldn't give me a simple clip art style line art. At this point, I can either change the model I am working with, continue to try different prompts or just download something from a site like freepick.com or Canva. And because I was lazy, and I didn't want this video to be 8 hours long of failed attempts so what I did was use my Canva account to grab a simple line art image. Now before you come at me, yes I know my prompting wasn't the greatest and I could have used other models, but hey like I said, I'm lazy and I was pressed for time trying to get this video completed. So this is the skull image that I got from Canva that we will be using in our optical illusion. Also to save myself the headache of trying to get a good prompt, I went ahead and went to Civit AI and since I am using the Epic Realism model, I visited that model page to borrow a prompt. I was looking for something that wasn't in a humanoid form since we are using a skull as the optical illusion. I found this and think this may work. So let's give it a try. Okay so let me paste in the positive prompt and re-enable control net. Using the same settings as before. Just this time using the simple black and white clip art from Canva. Let's generate and see how this goes. There we go, now that's more like it. It may be hard to see the optical illusion depending on your device you're viewing this video from, but squinting your eyes while looking at it helps. Also if you're on a mobile phone, turning the sideways and viewing from an angle helps. So let me throw this image into Photoshop and align the original image while adjusting the transparency so you can get a better view. Trust me, these things look awesome on your phone and they make awesome social media posts for IG and TikTok. 
Speaking of social media posts, let me show you exactly how I use these optical illusions to grow IG and TikTok accounts. So what I'll do is expand this design by unpainting in stable diffusion, therefore changing the canvas to 1080 by 1920 which is the common size for TikTok and Instagram Reels, also for YouTube Shorts. I have a step-by-step -step video on how to unpaint like I am currently doing now directly inside of stable diffusion. If you haven't watched it yet, I highly suggest you check it out. There we go. Now the image is expanded to 1080 by 1920 and you'll be able to use this on your social media accounts. Get creative, add the image into a video editor and add some funky music and transitions. Here is a quick and easy example to give you an idea. It took about 10 minutes to do and as I mentioned they make great social media posts. You can pump a lot of these out and build a following of just optical illusion images. The possibilities are endless. That's a wrap, folks. I hope this guide helps you create some mind-bending optical illusions. Seriously, you won't get bored, and you'll wow your followers on social media. If you hit any bumps, just rewind and follow along again. It's all about trial and error, right? So go ahead, make some optical illusions, post them online, and watch those likes roll in. Got questions or want to share your creations? Drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more awesome AI tips and tricks. Catch you in the next video.